Hello everyone, I am Kat. Welcome to my channel, You Have Arrived. And I once again have my special guest Chacha here with me today. So for today's video, I'm really super excited to share with you guys my wash day and my style day. And I'm gonna be using Curls products only. And I'm using products from their Blueberry Bliss line. Some of these products I've used before, some of these products I've never used before, so I'm very excited to try the new products. But this is also my first time trying all of these Blueberry Bliss products together at the same time. Usually I kind of like mix and match the products with other, other brands. So I'm very excited to share with you guys my results today. So if you would like to stick around with me and see how I accomplish these curls, please keep watching. I asked for that. I asked for that, but I yes I did just got out of the shower. While in the shower, I first used the reparative hair wash and I got my scalp a really nice deep cleanse. I also like to pick up while I have the cleanser in my hair, the scalp massaging shampoo brush from Vitagoods. Love this guy, so good. Then I got out of the shower and I added the reparative hair mask. I put four buns, one, two, three, four. Of course, added the shower cap and I left this in for 25 minutes. And I waited, I waited, I waited some more. And then it was like almost done. <laughs> and now it's done. So once I went in the shower and I rinsed that out, moving on to the styling product. So I'm gonna grab the reparative leave-in conditioner and the curl control jelly. First off, I like to kind of, when I'm adding the products to my hair, I don't like my hair to be like really, really, really damp. So I kind of get the excess out a little bit, then whip my hair up in two sections, clip it up on top of my head and go for the leave-in conditioner first. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding that to my hair and I like to rake it really good with my fingers through my hair. I like to focus um, conditioners all the way from the root to my ends. I don't really like get my scalp, but get as close to the roots as you can and keep raking it through. Once that is all the way in there, grabbing the curl control jelly and sealing the deal. So get that in. I really like when I use gels as well. I like to focus them to the root and to the end. I do go all the way through my hair most of the time with my gels as well, but I really like to focus again at the root and the ends. Then I'm gonna continue the same process on the bottom half and then move into the top. Add the product the same way as you did on the bottom half. Start with the leave-in conditioner and then moving on to the curl control jelly. Once all the product is in my hair, I like to kind of rake it backwards out of my face and then I do a little scrunch at my root. This helps so later after diffusing, have a little more volume. And then one of my favorite things to do, I like to actually like define the curls. So I'm gonna go through, make some curls around my head and then once that is done, I'm gonna air dry for about 30 minutes and then diffuse and then boom, bada bing. Okay, these are my end results. I have mixed feelings with how my hair turned out. I'm not disappointed and think that I just need to try a couple things a little bit different the next time I use these products together. Um, I think I need to concentrate a little bit more at my roots. Maybe I should have had my hair air dry for about an hour or so instead of just 30 minutes. Like I, I sometimes you never know. Cause I know at least for myself, if I blow dry too soon, it, fr it frizzes a little bit more than it would if I let it air dry a little more, let the product really seal around it. So that could have been a reason why I have a little more frizz right now. And I don't know, maybe even like finger curl a couple more even better. I don't know. I was a little confused as to why that got all flubbed up today. But again, I'm really not super bummed out, but I feel like all of this should have turned out a little bit better. It's not as defined as sometimes my curls can be on. If you can tell there's just like frizz all around the curls there. But um, individually, a lot of these products, um, the ones that I have used, the leave-in conditioner and the curl control jelly, I really enjoy. I'm gonna give them another shot all, all four together, but this round, not the most perfect, not the worst, but I think I'm gonna give it another shot. But real quick before we end this video, I wanna talk about each of the products individually. So first off, we're gonna start with the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash. It's super silky, super smooth, and it really did give my hair a lot of slip. So that's like, makes it really nice and silky so then when you go to like finger detangle, you can. And usually when I use like a hair wash, I can't like, not all the time, but it's a lot harder. It's not as easy as with a conditioner to finger detangle. 
So with this, it was really nice. It almost acted like a conditioner. Now the reparative hair mask. This was actually really nice too. I also love the smell of this. I love the whole scent of the Blueberry Bliss line. It's awesome. And um, with this same thing, it had a really nice texture to it and it was really, really nice and thick. So as I was putting it through my hair, I really felt like, ooh, I got a lot of like moisture going into my hair and really sealing it up and hopefully giving it a really nice condition. So that was really nice. And once I, let's see, I left in for 25 minutes. And then once I rinsed it out, my hair still felt very like slick and smooth. Yeah, moving on. So the next two products I have used before. And the first one that I had applied was the reparative leave-in conditioner. This one, when I've used it already in the past with other products, I find that it works really well. I don't know if maybe it's the other product that's working with it. I'm not sure, but I usually really like this on its own. Again, the scent is great. And again, this is another one too. You put in your hair and you can like detangle with this. It has really nice slip and detangle and yeah, I mean, I don't have any complaints on its own. I didn't notice it being a problem, so I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend the leave-in conditioner. And lastly, picking up the Curdle Control Jelly. This one is really nice, too, as you can see. I've used this one. I use it a lot, and I really like it. And I don't know. I just don't know what the mixture was of them all together because alone, and when I've tried this with other products as my, like, gel, my sealing the deal at the end when I do my hair, it does a fantastic job. I never have any issues or problems. So like I said already, I'm really excited to use all of these products again and just maybe kind of see if something went wrong. But it's really hard to try stuff one time and then bam, that's it. Um, so I am, I'm gonna give it another try and I'll keep you guys posted. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably hear um, about how well they work a lot sooner and faster. So follow me on Instagram so you can check that out. And yeah, I think, all for today <laughs> okay I had to grab my little buddy again real quick so all of my curl friends out there and all of my makeup lovers I hope that you guys come back next Monday and join me for a new video yes see he always enjoys the curls so I guess something happened right today right <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for hanging out with me today and checking out my video I hope to see you guys again next Monday and take care bye <laughs> Yes, good bite. Oh gosh, I'm like a jungle gem. But am I though? No, sorry. <laughs> really? You think so? Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Okay. Can you? Oh. <laughs> and styled it today. Oh. <laughs> so, little buddy.